Uh, I commend the bill to the House. Kia ora. Um, I call Clayton Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Chair. Not before we have the last call, if you like to see. I don't know if there's too many other people wanting to take a call on this bill this evening. It's actually quite a good feeling, sir, standing here and being with New Zealand First, strongly opposing this bill right the way through the House, although we did actually support Chris Farfoy's um, SOP. Not that it was going to be a game changer by any of the stretch of the imagination, sir, but I think a better title for this bill would be is this, is go is this going to be as good as it's going to get under this government's amendment bill for the fire service might be more appropriate because it certainly falls well short of the expectations of the fire service and people within the organisation, the volunteers, the rural, the urban, and of course all of the taxpayers that are going to be funding this through their levies, sir. I think there are a number of areas within this bill that are actually uh, applaudable. You go, well done, you've given it some consideration, but I don't think anywhere near enough consideration has been given to the people, the submitters, sir, that have actually come in, given up their time to come and submit to the select committee, who have basically come in and their submissions have fallen completely and utterly on deaf ears. Um, this bill has been heroed by the minister as a game changer, as a new way forward, as the piece of, uh, the piece of the resistance, if you like, moving forward with the fire service. And yet, despite this being the 17th review in 22 odd years, um, straight after, it must have been about a month later, he then comes out suggesting that perhaps as he scratches his head, it might have been a good consideration to include the civil defence in this bill, and perhaps we should also have included St John's. And it just, just goes to show how out of touch this bill is that at the 12th hour, those such things could be actually included. To not look at the SOPs and the minor but very important change that they can make, charging a levy to those people, particularly those people jumping on a plane to get travel insurance, who are spending their holidays over in Europe or in America or Australia, who have got themselves cover and they're paying seven cents in every hundred dollars to make sure that they've got cover for the fire and emergency service in New Zealand is absolutely profoundly stupid, sir. And we've fallen into this claptrap that uh, we're going along like bobbleheaders just saying, yes, OK, it's a good idea because we've been told it's a good idea, doesn't make any sense at all. And when you look at the fire levy in itself as an entirety, and you look at who is actually going to be funding the fire service, and that is going to fall directly and largely in the hands of those commercial uh, building owners and the residential and the people that are going to get insurance with uh, a touch-up with the car insurance, sir, and yet there are going to be so many other people that use the fire service on a daily basis in our communities that will not be paying their fair share and funding it. Now, this service is a critical service. And if the Labor Party thinks the most important thing that they can put forward is changing the name and putting service into fire and emergency New Zealand services or some description, then they too have got their rocks in their head and got their priorities in the wrong place. Because that is far from what is needed with this bill. This is absolutely a million miles away. Just talk to your constituents. Talk to the people inside the organisation. Talk to the people that have got commercial properties. Talk to the landowners that are going to be marginalised in their rural parts of New Zealand. Their funding will not trickle down with this neoliberal idea of an amalgamated regime. Look at all the... Um, reports than the reviews that have come out, the Malone report, the Ferguson report, the uh, contributing factors of fires in Europe reports, all saying exactly what we are saying. We have not pulled out ideas out of thin air. We have researched it. We have looked at international situations that are proving and will prove that I'm this sorry bill to interrupt is the honourable member. Breakfast. The time has come for me to report progress. Members, the House is resumed. Uh, Mr Speaker, the committee has further considered the Foreign Emergency New Zealand Bill and reports progress. 
the committee has also further considered the Māori purposes um, and reports no, a bill and reports no progress. The committee has also considered the land transfer bill and reports no progress. Mr Speaker, I move that the report be adopted. Members, the question is that the report be adopted. Those of that opinion will say aye. And to the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The Fire and Emergency New Zealand Bill, the Maori Purposes Bill and the Land Transfer Bill are all set down for further consideration in committee next sitting day. Members, the House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Thank you.